Hey there, I'm Lance and I'm a gamer. And I'm Sam and I'm a non-gamer. And we are Love to Hate, where we help gamers find great games to play with non-gamers. And today we're going to be playing License to Krill by Maka Games. License to Krill is a game that is coming to crowdfunding here in the very near future, so you want to make sure to check out the link down below in the description of this video after you watch it. Now this is a game that comes with a whale plushie that has a zipper for a mouth that's actually going to hold all the cards, uh, both after you're done playing the game and you're storing it away, but also during the course of the game because this is an actual gameplay uh, component that is going to eat some of the cards. We'll be putting cards in this whale's mouth. Now, as you can see, we've got our two kiddos here with us, and we are going to be doing a four-player playthrough of this one. I do want to make sure you understand that what you see in this video is prototype. It's pretty close to the final uh, components and everything, but it is still prototype, so the final artwork components and maybe even some of the rules might change once it's released from crowdfunding. Also, I do want to make sure that you turn on the Klingon subtitles, just in case we make any rules goofs along the way, which we're prone to do so. Uh, you will be made aware of that with the text pop-ups that come up, letting you know what we got wrong. That way you know how to play this game correctly. Now, hopefully we don't have any rules goofs, but just make sure you have that turned on. So, taking the overhead look here, uh, what <coughs> you've got going on with this game, I'll do a quick rules overview with this one, and then we'll get into it. Uh, this is the ocean, the market ocean here. Now, this is what it looks like in a four-player game. If you're playing in a different player count, then it may look differently here. But you have uh, krill cards with this orange background that are going to be on top of these ocean market cards. And basically, on your turn, you're going to draft one of the five that are out here for you, placing it face up in front of your player area. My cards will be here, Sam's will be there, Anna's are going to be over here, and Locks, unfortunately, are going to be off the, the frame. Uh, over on this side of the, the table. And then uh, if you draft one of these ones that has like the little shark icon and the and the kind of the brownish tan colored sand on the bottom, it's going to have an action that you're going to do immediately after you pick that card. After you do that action, or if you pick a card that doesn't have an action, then you have to do the ocean market action, which are these down here. And uh, these four are going to be having us pass the well. You don't want to have the whale targeting you. This is like hot potato. You want to try to get rid of this thing as much as possible because he's more than likely going to eat up your cards. Uh, this spot right here is going to have you flip over one of the whale cards, and majority of these are not great. That's when he could strike and eat up your cards that you've drafted, the sets that you're trying to build. Uh, and then at the end of your turn, after you've passed it or flipped over a well card, you're going to flip over a well card. So if you draft from this spot, you're flipping over two well cards. Uh, and then it would be the next player's turn. You don't pass the well. He stays with whoever has it. So that's why you want to try to maybe get rid of it by taking one of these cards over here. Again, this is like hot potato. At the bottom somewhere in the bottom portion of this deck is going to be the final Krilling Time card. Uh, that's the big bad card that you don't want to get in this deck. And when that card comes out, the game is over. We'll add up our points and we'll see who the winner is. We each start with a Kelp card, which whoever has the most Kelp is going to get three points at the end of the game. Otherwise, that's pretty much the gist of it. I'll go ahead and start with the Well. I'm not too uh, thrilled about that. Uh, but I'll start with the well, and that makes me the start player, and so I get to draft <coughs> first from this market. These are victory points listed up here in the top. The little water droplets are, if there's ever a tie for anything, whoever has the most water droplets breaks the tie. And uh, that being said, what's this card down here? Dress to Krill. Immediately draw and do top well card. I don't know that I like that because I have the well. Um, and then steal a card from any player, and there's nothing to steal really. So I am going to take Sardines, uh, which Sardines is a set in and of itself. One Sardine card equals negative one point, two Sardines equals two points each, and then three or more Sardines equals three points each. So I'm going to take the Sardines, that gives me one. Uh, we now pass it clockwise two spaces, which means, Anna, you have the well, and we refill the market here. We have uh, get out of well free. Randomly take a card from the well and do action. 
Uh, and so that would have you take something out of the whale's mouth. Uh, and now we flip over a whale cart. Krilling time! So unfortunately, Anna, you have been struck by the whale. You have to feed the whale your one and only kelp card. Womp womp. I thought it was cute. Now, if uh, you, you feed the whale your kelp card, nothing happens. If you feed the whale one of your krill cards that you've gotten from the river, you get a consolation prize of getting a kelp card back. But unfortunately, Anna couldn't do that. So, now it is Sam's turn. Oh, the ink. Get out of well free. Yeah, I guess I'll do that because I can just take the. Yep. So you th th what? Read the card. What's it say? Get out of well free. Randomly take a card from the whale and do action. So I will randomly take the one card. <laughs> the <laughs> random <laughs> kelp that happened to be in there. What do I do? This? You keep that. That's uh, one of your cards. It's getting zero points, but it's a card that you can maybe give to the whale if he ever strikes at you. And now the well is going to get past two spaces clockwise, okay. which unfortunately is back to me. I don't like that. It's going to be me and Dad the whole time. And uh, ecological krill. All plastic junk change from negative four points to positive four points. That's good if you have a lot of plastic junk, because there are plastic junk cards in here. And now we flip over the... The well uh, card, and it says exploring, move well anywhere, well target chooses. I am the well target, because I have the well, and I am going to give him to you, son. <laughs> Congratulations. All right, Anna, it is your turn. Okay, so this one, immediately draw and do the top whale card. That's that one. So you don't have the well, so that's not a horrible one. You could mess up somebody else's. Um, all plastic junk change from negative four to plus four. Um, but we don't have any junk nope, right no now. plastic junk out there. Yet. Um, still a card from any player. You could do that. Um, double the value of another card. You don't really have cards, so that doesn't make sense to do right now. Swap this card with a card from another player. Does anything sound like something you want to do? This, this one? one. So you want to steal a card from another player? Who, Who are you stealing? stealing? You're gonna steal your kelp back. And then you're gonna yeah. give that negative two point card to mom. Yeah. And uh, this moves <laughs> clockwise, which, gosh darn it, that's me. <laughs> I cannot get rid of this thing. Uh, we refill the Wait, market. Wait, doesn't it say two minus? Yeah, minus so two. mom has minus two points currently. Uh, but now we flip over another well card. Tail slap, discard one market card the well target chooses. That's me. Get rid of something we're not using. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of... Uh, let's get rid of the dress to... Krill. Uh, yeah, I'm going to get rid of that. So that is out of the game. We're just going to set that off to the side. Uh, and Or actually, I think that comes into the whale's mouth. So it came that back to me. We're going to put that in the whale's mouth. So whale now, eats whale. The whale eats the krill. These are krill cards. And now we refill it with, what is this? Uh, vile bill. Vile bill. Gift one of your cards to another player. So that would be a good way to get rid of a bad yeah. card. Uh, Locke, it is your turn to pick from the market. Now, a new one that we, we got out here just now was the Monocryl. He's worth three points. However, he's worth zero points if you have any other Monocryl. So you only want one of these, and he would give you three points. Sure. You want to take him? Yeah. All right, so the Monocryl goes so to Locke. Again, he's worth three points if you don't get any others. This is going to move clockwise. Sam's first time to have the whale. We're going to refill it here with definitely a barnacrill. Draw a card and slide under. Don't peek. Score at the end. So you get you get a, a, a secret card when you take this one. It is worth one point. And then our whale card here is sky hopping. Pass whale once clockwise. You barely even had the whale. So it goes to Anna. And it is, to me, it is my turn, and I, I'm going to, I'm going to take this, uh, yeah, I'm going to take this one. I'm going to tuck a krill card underneath it, don't know what it is, and we're going to put that, oh, there's a plastic jump card, so this would turn that, uh, if you had the, whatever, wherever we went. Uh, this card right here, he would turn negative four to positive four. Uh, all right, so um, now it's mom's turn. 
You're taking that one? Yeah. Okay. So he's worth negative four for now, but uh, he might be worth something to you later on. And so you took from this spot, so the well gets passed clockwise to lock? No, he's my homie. Not anymore. And what do we get? Tactic Rail, swap one of your cards with one market card and do action. Okay. And we flip this over. Can Boop. I do these or are they just worth that now? Like I can't do these. No, they, you only do them immediately after you okay, take so them out I'm of the market. Keep them. Yeah, yeah, you can stack them. All right, so the well goes a breaching here. The well moves to the player with the most cards, and Kelp does count. I have four cards. I have four. Locke has two. You have four. You have one. So now it comes to the water droplets, and I have seven. Five. So it comes to me. I don't like that. <laughs> All right, Anna, your turn. Okay, let's see. Um... This is swap this card with a card from another player. So if you wanted something that somebody else has had, um, double the value of another card. Um, swap one of your cards with one market card. So that means you'd have to swap your kelp with something. Um, all plastic junk change from negative four to plus four. You don't have plastic junk. Gift one of your cards to another player. Does any of those sound? I think the best ones for you is gonna be one of these two, either swap this card with the card from another player. So I double the size of what I have right here. Can she do that? Um, It says double the value. So it's gotta have a value on it is so my take. So, so I, I, would not, I would not take this that card. This one, is there anything that mom or dad or Locke have that you would want and then you just give them this and say you can even take their kelp? No. <laughs> How about, I would take, I would take maybe that three down there. Yeah, it is three points. It's worth three points. And you would just lose your kelp, which, you know, you got to have the now most your kelp. kelp. doesn't have any points, so that would get you more. Do you want to do that? Sure. Who would you want to gift it to? Mama. All right. So Mom's got two kelp, so she is in the lead for kelp. And then we refill over here, double krill, five points for set of both double krill cards. Otherwise it's only worth one. So you gotta have two of those and it's worth five. Uh, the well is going to move counterclockwise, two spaces, one, two. You gave yourself the whale. Let's see if it's a bad option. Tail slap, nope. You pick a card from the market that the well eats. We haven't had any Krilling Time cards yet, have we? Mm -mm. Oh, we had the very first one. Mm -hmm. Which one? You're going to get rid of Tactic Krill. Okay. And we need to refill that. Another Monocrill. And now, son, it is your turn. I think this would be a really good one for you because you could double the value of your Monocrill and make it worth six points instead of three. Sure. You going to do that? Okay, uh, and it moves counterclockwise, so it goes to mom, and we refill it with another one of these, which is the one where you draw a card and you don't look at it, you put it under there. And now our well card krilling time. So Sam, you have to get rid of a card. Now if you get rid of a kelp, you don't get a consolation yeah. kelp. Get You're gonna get rid of the negative, yeah. yeah. So now you do get a kelp, which gives you three. So you're definitely winning that. Uh, it's my go, and I'm gonna take the monocrill and shrimply the best. It's just worth two points. Oh, okay. <laughs> Nothing else to it. Just worth two points. Uh, I took from here, so it's gonna move clockwise. So it's gonna go to Anna and. Exploring, it moves to any person you want it to. Who do you want to have the whale? Locke hasn't had it barely any time. <laughs> All right, son, you've got the whale. Uh, and that was my turn. So, Sam, it's your go. Yeah, I figured you were going to get that at some point. Uh, and that's the one that turns your negative four points to positive four. This is get out of whale free, randomly take a card from the whale and do it, that action. Yep. And then the whale moves two spaces clockwise, so by taking that, you gave yourself the whale. Hopefully it's not a bad option. Sky hopping past the whale once clockwise, so it goes to Anna. At this point, why are we not married? I mean, you've had it for the lot, a lot of the game. Uh, it is your turn. 
You want the two points? Yeah, that is a good one. And then the whale is going to pass clockwise, so it will go to lock. And what's our new card? Double krill. Five points for a set of both double krill cards. Ah, they're both, both out, right out there right now, so get them while you can. All right, so logging, the whale is napping. Nothing happens. Mm. Quite a good time to have the whale. Your turn. Take that double You're krill. taking the double krill. Now, it's worth one point, but if you get that other one, it's worth five. Krill NATO. All players pass the card in direction you choose. But that's when that card gets picked, yeah. not now. All right, uh, the whale is going to move clockwise, which is to me, and I have a bad feeling. Oh, blowing. Oh, okay, so goodbye all cards. All the cards. Oh, no. <laughs> Go away. The whale eats them all. But you can still get it out of his mouth. You could, and there might be another one in there. Over? When's the... Uh, there is the final krill card oh, okay. somewhere towards the bottom of the deck, and that's when... Maybe not... The game would be over. And so we've refilled. There's another shellfish. Exactly I know. Uh, Krilling Spree. Look at and reorder the top three whale cards. So that might be a good one if you have them. Well, there's another Krilling Spree. Uh, Kriller Whale. Plus one point for each of these cards that have the shark on them. Maximum of three. So you can't get more than three points off of that. And then another Sardines. Well, it is my turn, and I think I do want the sardines to go with my sardines. other sardines. So I've got two sardines now. This is going to pass counterclockwise. One, two. Mirror crow. Mirror the action of a river card. Uh, river. So this is, again, this is prototype. So when it says river card, it means ocean card. So one of the cards that are out here in the ocean. So mirror it. Yes. So do whatever the action is on it. Okay. Uh, we do need to flip over one of these. Krilling time. The whale is going to eat one of your cards, so you have to choose one to give up. <laughs> give up the two, not the three. Yeah. Now, because you are giving up a krill card, though, you do get a kelp. So there is w some consolation. And it is Mom's turn. I think he's contagious to me. I mean, you can't get rid of them. You were you were raving about him earlier, though. You were talking he about how cute, cute he is. He was cute back then. I didn't know he was brown. You gonna get the Kriller whale? Yeah. Kriller. Okay, so yeah. that's the one that gives you points for action cards. Yeah. Uh, we flip out Ocean Road Krill. It's worth one point. Move the whale to any location mm -hmm. when you draw the card. The whale is going to move clockwise, too, which comes to me. Oh, and krilling time. I got to get rid of something. Uh, I'm going to get rid of... I'm going to get rid of this. And I still have my secret one. I don't know what it is. Um, and I do get a kelp because I got rid of a krill. So there's that. And son, it's your turn. Mm -hmm. Which one are you thinking? Uh, yeah. So this lets you swap a card with any with a, somebody else's card if you didn't like a card that you had. Um, these two let you look at the top three cards in this deck and arrange them however you want. This lets you move the well to wherever you want. And then this one lets you basically do the action of one of the other ones, which at this point, that may not be so great. Let me do that. You're going to do this one. All right, so that's going to... You're going to keep the card in front of you, and we're going to move this counterclockwise. Now, you just gave yourself the well, but you get to look at the top three cards, so... I would I would advise you to choose put a, something on top. Put then. something on top that's good. Please. <laughs> Not a krilling time card. You don't want that on top. He's like they're all krilling. <laughs> that would be bad luck. And I am not looking at the cards. I do see there's another sardines out there. Yeah, I just put on it. You got the right order. Okay, so now we flip over the top one. Breaching, so move the well to the player with the most cards. I have mm -hmm. one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. 
So it is mom. Oh yeah, you have five. You're pretty close. All right, so now it's my turn, and oh, but that would give me the whale, and I have a feeling you put something bad on there. Ooh. I think he was just more focused on putting good on top. I don't. I don't. I don't trust him. No, I did. You're not. You're gonna skip out on the third He's sardines. A funny baloney. I don't trust him. I I am going to take a krilling spree as well. And I get to look at the top three cards yeah, and see. So you are lucky. It's a logical three points if you have the fewest total cards. Um, all right, so I don't like that. I'm going to do it this way. All right, so um, I took from here, so it's going to move clockwise. It's going to go to Anna. And I did not. Do you any wrong here? Diving, the whale moves to the player with the most sardines. Well, Locke didn't do any wrong here. And that's me. All right, so, um, it's your turn. I don't like any of these. I don't care about the whale. What, the what was this one? Uh, if you have the fewest cards, I still don't have Oh, that. yeah, you do need to get that. I mean, obviously, plus, I don't need that. Plus three points in addition to the one on it, so that would give you four points. So this card with a card from another player. I'm giving you that. I'm going to take your... No, that was the worst thing, because I know what that is. Oh. <laughs> I thought for sure nobody would take from here. Oh. It's, it's been there the entire game. Oh, it's going to be replaced with Vile Vile. Gift one of your cards to another player. Well, this is a bad, bad card. Krilling time. I put it on there for a reason because I thought, there's no way. I'll be stuck with it. Uh, all right, so I got to get rid of a card, and these are worth the same. That has more water droplets for whatever that's worth. So I'm going to get rid of this one, and I will take <coughs> the kelp card over there. And all right, so it is Anna's turn. Yep. Yeah, I was going to say, you got to take that one. All right, so it moves to Mom. We're going to replace it with the sardines. Another sardines, and blowing all the sardines That's go good. away. Oh, all the sardines that I need go away. Uh -huh. And, Mom, you are the uh, target, so you decide how those cards get put in his mouth, oh. because you could put them on top, you could put them on bottom, you can mix them in with the cards that are already in his mouth. Down. So there is a little bit of strategy when it comes to that. Sparkrill. Uh, move well to target. Uh, move well to target. You draw and do top well card. That's worth three points. Cutest Krill. Uh, win in game scoring ties. That gives you one point. Tacticrill, we've seen that one. Krill Pill. Take a Kelp card. Well, there are no, no more left. Uh, and then dress to Krill, immediately draw and do top well card. Two points. Whose turn is it? It's Locks. Uh, yes. Anna just took her, so yep. Woo! Now you could take a risk by taking this one because the well's going to target you. And you have to do whatever the well card is. Then you got to do another well card. And then another well card. So that's three well cards. That, that may be too much. But it is worth three points. <laughs> no, I'm going to proceed to Krill. What's that one? Yeah, proceed to Krill. Dress. Dress to Krill? Uh, my bad. Okay, so dress to Krill. You get two points. You immediately draw and do top well card. Um... And so we immediately do this. Then we're going to pass it, and we're going to do it again. So hold on. It's, it's you yeah. first, Mom. Diving. Move well to player with most sardines. Uh-oh. That's me. <laughs> but now we do the passing. So it goes counterclockwise, too, which is actually Anna. Are you addicted <laughs> to me? <laughs> and now we do the final one for the final uh, well card of your turn. And it is curling time. <laughs> of course it is. Uh, at this point, you might want to yeah. get rid of your kelp because I'm sorry, you pick. You don't want to lose any more points. All right, uh, that was your turn, so it's over to me. Of course, I'm the target. There's and a, there's a double, there's a double crew. I I gotta get the sardines. What am I thinking? I gotta get the sardines. Uh, so unfortunately, that means it's gonna come to me though. Counterclockwise, Yay! one, two. And Monocryl is back out there. You still have one. I have one. You guys might want to get that. 
Uh, we are getting low on these well cards, though. Ah, uh, Krilling time. Ah. Uh, um, I have to suffer the consequences. Oh, man. Yeah, I got to. I, I got to keep up with you on the to. on the kelp cards. I can't give up on that. All right. Um, unfortunately, I don't get any kelp because there's no kelp left. Yeah. Uh, it is your go. You're gonna take the monocryl. Counterclockwise two goes one two. I feel like you have not had the well hardly at all. Um, What's that? This is a Kriller Whale, plus one point for each shark card, max two points. So you could, if you got that one, it would give you an extra point yep. for that shark. That's that's what you have right yeah, here, yeah. yeah. All right, so Anna, Krilling time. That's not fair. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I hate you. Oh, I mean, no. I th still think it makes more sense to get rid of this one because... You're definitely in the, in the lead for that, and so it's worth more points. Because it's one plus three if so you have four. the two. This is four, so yeah. it makes more sense to get rid of that. Oh. I'm sorry, sister. I hate That's you. That's a tough break. Uh, I want to shove this in your... Oh, we're, yeah. we're down to our last one. So at any point, these are the final five cards, so one of these could be the one that ends the game. Uh, let's see. That was Mom's turn, right? So now it is Anna's turn. I this still plus again. point. Oh no, you just got rid of your color. Yeah, you don't want that now. Uh, take a kelp card. There are no more. Swap one of your cards. No, I think you want to keep that one. When end game scoring ties, I don't think that's really an issue. Move well to target you draw and do top whale card. I don't think you want to do a whale card. Yeah. This is one point, so I still think this is might be worth it. And then if something comes up. If you had a tie, you would win it. So, uh, all right. So then we're gonna move it counterclockwise, one space. So that's mom. And now our new krill card. Shrimply the best plus one point for every other shrimply the best card. Oh, okay. I didn't realize that. That uh, where'd that other one go? I might have ate it. Yeah. This one says uh, prawn. Prawns and then gold, silver, on that. So, all right. Could this be the end of the game? Breaching. Move well to player with most cards. I believe that that's still yeah. probably you. All right, Locke. This could be your last turn. Give me the Kriller Whale. Kriller Whale. That's uh, one point for each of these type of cards, but you have two, so you got two points there. Uh, Shrimply the best. It's zero points. If you have the most, if you have total, the most total cards. Oh, so you don't want that. Otherwise, it's worth three. It. Do I want it? All right. Let's see. I got three points, yeah. Uh, all right, you took from here, so it's got to go counterclockwise, two spaces. So that would be you, son. You gave yourself the whale. Uh-oh. Blowing. Discard all the river cards. I was going to take that. that. <laughs> you weren't going to get it. I was going to take it. <laughs> well, there were two. Where's that double krill? All right, you get to decide where how those go into the whale's mouth. Out. Krillian clams, plus one point for each card with only one water drop. Okay, this is... That's, that's the one you need to go for. Yeah, no one's allowed that. to take Fibber that. Clab, crab, rearrange <laughs> any of the market cards. Um, shellfish, swap this card with one from another player. Oops. Um, poop loop. Discard one of your cards, <laughs> draw a new card, and do action. I told you it poops. It does. And then illogical all oh, positive jump change that. from minus four to plus four. Ooh. Oh, that's that's yeah. the same thing as that. Okay. All right, my turn here, and you can't have that. That's reserved for me. Um. Oh, man. What is this poop loop? Discard one of your cards, <coughs> draw a new card, and do action. There's only one card left, so... Yeah, I don't know that I want that. Please, please, please. Um, I'm going to take the Fiddler Crab and give myself two points. And then I get to rearrange any of the market cards. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to move this one here is all I'm doing. And this comes here. Plastic junk. Oh, man. That's... Oh, man. Points. Mom's going to get that. Uh, this is going to move to Anna. 
And could this be the end of the game? It is the end of the game. And I lost. <laughs> <laughs> and I lost. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, sister. He eats one final card mm -hmm. of yours. I'm so good at this one. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be the end of the game. Okay, so now it is time for us to add up our cards. And first thing we got to do is figure out who has the most kelp. I have How three, many? you have three. So the tiebreaker are Can these little... Over? No, not yet. At least I don't think so. Um, well, I'm gonna have to score I, it. I think, it, yeah, yeah, you do flip it over because, yeah, you got to so score it. Describe one of your cards, Johnny card, and do... Well, you don't do the action yeah. on it. But those water droplets do count towards the tiebreaker here. So count up all your water you droplets. Still have. I have a lot. 5, 10, 15, 18, 19. Yeah, you win. Okay, so I get three points for the kelp. I'm going to keep my three uh, kelp as the uh, tiebreaker there on that. Uh, and then I do have three sardines each, which are three points each. So 3, 6, 9, 12. So these don't 15. count for anything then. 17. No, the kelp does not count for anything other than for me. So I have 17 points. Locke, let's see how many you have here. Uh, kelp doesn't count for anything. Three. You're going to you double it. Me. That's all I have. Six points here Four. for that. One point for every. That's two, so that's eight points. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Twelve points for Locke. Uh, nine? Nine? You only had nine? This is zero. This is three. Oh, no. This is five. No. That's one. That's wow. Three. And then Anna had four. Yep. Okay. I did nothing. That's the way... That impressive to win with one. The well <laughs> eats the krill. Okay. All right, let me see the well. There we have it. And as you can see, he does have some of the cards in his mouth. He ate quite a few of them, of Anna's in particular. <laughs> Well, there you have it. That is License to Krill. Again, it is coming to crowdfunding here in the very near future. So you want to make sure to check out the link down below in the description of this video now that you've watched it. And while you're down there, make sure to leave us some comments about License to Krill. Make sure to like and subscribe and push that bell button so you get notifications of all our new content. I'm Lance. I'm Sam. And we are Love to Hate, where we try to bridge the gap between gamers and non-gamers. We'll catch you next time. Peace.